I'm not saying we're defying physics, mm -hmm. but there's some new technology that we're using that makes our telescope see what we didn't think was possible. That's right. So the goal is always higher angular resolution. You want to be able to resolve smaller and smaller things. The core claim that got me thinking about what this paper was, they said, the Raleigh criterion is not fundamental. So it's like Jack Sparrow mm. being like, it's more like guidelines. <laughs> right? Like, not... <laughs> Like, like, I was like, what are you talking, what are you talking about? about? Right, like, right, right, right. I right. thought the rally criterion, I learned this in undergrad and I thought that was it. Yeah, right, right. Insane. So here's it, the thing. The idea is like, there's previously, this was viewed as a fundamental limitation. Yeah. At a physics level. At a physics level, right? Then I started reading. So the rally criterion assumes the following. The only thing that you're sensitive to is the intensity of the light. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You've got a telescope, you've got a CCD in the back, the telescope creates an image, the CCD then tells how much intensity of light is coming from this direction, this direction. But light is an electromagnetic wave, and there is phase information. Okay. Right? right. Because the electromagnetic wave is coming at you. At some point, it's going to be up. At some point, it's going to be down this right. way. Right. right? There's a phase. There's a timing yes. that the light is coming through. Yes. And if you can extract the timing, then you have both parts of the wave. You have the amplitude, which is the intensity, which yes. you already had. Yes. What these guys are doing now is they're getting sensitive to the phase of that light, mm -hmm. creating much more information mm -hmm. out of that single mm -hmm. Resolution. Out of the existing system that's already there. Yes. And we can do it because this is sub-diffraction, right? Right, right. This is where we're, we're going yes. way inside yes. what Raleigh even thought was possible. Yes. Okay. Right? Yes. That, okay, that tracks. It's pretty cool. This star specifically, what they're looking at is star in Canis Minoris, Beta CMI. It's 162 light years away. Canis Minoris is one of the two dogs that are the hunting companions of Orion, the, the hunter. And so this star specifically, it's got a gas of hydrogen around it. And that gas is spinning so fast that we can see a Doppler shift. There you can see the gas cloud and you can see the clear Doppler. Yes, red-blue shift. Red-blue shift, right? Between yes. the part that's coming away from us and the part that's coming towards us. The blue is where it's coming from uh, towards us yeah. and the red is where it's going away. And that scale bar before that used to be 20. Yes. Now you've resolved stuff to, to, to that. To, to one. And right. you can even see the lopsidedness that you yeah. were talking about earlier in this yeah. too. Yeah. This is this is unbelievable. So it's it's I think it's it's a new dawn of like you know higher than Raleigh resolution. Yeah, yeah. Which is I mean I think it's gonna be really really cool. 